Welcome to Studio Lighting Techniques in Maxwell Render. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. Welcome back to part 3. In this video I'll be setting up my cameras in this scene. So first thing to do is over in the Cameras Manager, right click and make new camera. Shortcut is Shift Command C. And the second thing I need to do is double click this new camera in order to make it active. And you'll notice when I do that this uh, info up here, this drop down menu, will change from perspective to camera. So double click and there it goes, changes to camera. You'll also notice that the view in the viewport um, had these grey rectangles appear to show me the current field of view of this camera. The drop down menu here at the top of the viewport is another way of selecting which camera you want to use. For example, if I use perspective, I can then move around my scene without actually moving the camera view. But for now, I do want camera, so I can either go to this menu and select camera or double click it as I did before. And then I want my camera parameters. And I actually want to set up this camera in a very specific way to give me an overview of my scene. First thing I should do is change my resolution. And at this point it's obviously useful to know the final resolution that you'll need. In this case I'm going to use Full HD 1920 by 1080 So with the aspect ratio locked, in the left hand side I'm going to put in my width of 1920 and press enter. And because the aspect ratio is locked, the other side changes to 1440. I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio and then put in 1080 to get the aspect ratio that I need. Then I'm also going to change my focal length. At the moment it's 35 and that's a bit low for me so I'm going to change it to 50. And now I can set up my camera position. Position X needs to be 0. Position Y needs to be 0.5. And the position Z I need to work out as I go. What I'd like is for the entire scene to be within the frame. So I can set it to 3 and then just increase Z. 3.2, 3.3. 3.3 is going to work for me. And that's the camera position and the target position is going to be 0 0.50. So I'm looking at the exact middle of the scene. This will also ensure that my focal point is the centre of the scene. And speaking of focal point, I need to change my f-stop to 32 to make sure that everything's nicely in focus. Now this is going to change my EV number, or my exposure value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the exposure and change the EV number to something more realistic for a studio type scene, say for example about 9. Then I'm going to press the big fat orange fire button to see what this looks like. And you can see that my lights, or my emitters, aren't quite right. For a start, they're not very bright in the first place, and secondly, they're different brightnesses, but they have the same emitter material applied. So I'm going to open up my emitter material by double-clicking on it. And this opens the material editor. And all I'm going to do is change my luminance mode from power and efficiency down to lux. And now they're all the same intensity, or they appear to be the same intensity to the camera. I covered this in an earlier tutorial and I'll leave a link in the description. What I want to do now is increase the output until these emitters appear white. And for me a value of 3000 is what I need. I'm also going to refresh my material preview to reflect the new changes. OK, I'm done with my material editor, I'm going to close that now. And what I'd like to do is have a camera set up not for the overall scene, but for the actual detail of the object that I'm rendering. So I'm going to come over to my Cameras Manager and right-click my camera and clone it, just like I did with my objects. And then double-click to select the new camera and simply move it. So my Y position is going to be now 0.25. My Y target is going to be 0.25 as well. And like I did before, I just need to move my camera until I've got the view that I want. And this time I'm going to do it manually in the viewport by dollying the camera, so just moving it forwards towards the object. So hold Alt and right click and just move forward, move the mouse up until you've got the view that you want. That's good for me. And it's about 1.5. So just so I know exactly, I'll change it to 1.5. And again, what I should do, good work practice, is to rename these cameras. So again, with the camera selected, press return, and I'm going to call it Close Up. Return. Select the other one. Return. Overview. Return. Don't forget to save your scene. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll be looking at the setup of the scene in more detail. For more information about support, consultation and mentoring in CAD and Maxwell Render at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, 
email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.